Blue Waters has enabled our team to conduct breakthrough simulations and visualizations of nature's most powerful thunderstorms. A comparison between visualized model output and actual storm footage reveals uncanny similarities. Here we compare the explosive growth of towering cumulus clouds in our simulation to time-lapse video footage of a real storm. Supercells often contain pouch-like mammatus clouds that descend from the anvil of the storm. The simulated storm on the left bears a striking resemblance to the field data shown on the right. The tail cloud of a supercell forms along its forward flank and delineates the boundary between the storm's cold pool and warm moist air ahead of the storm. Our team has focused on this region because it is roughly co-located with a newly identified feature we call the streamwise vorticity current, a helically rotating stream of air that we think may be responsible for forming and maintaining the tornado that occurs in our simulations. Here we compare the cloud field of a tornado to video of a real storm. The simulated tornado undergoes morphological changes throughout its life that mirror what is often seen in nature. The simulated tornado begins as a narrow laminar vortex and over time widens and assumes a multiple vortex structure similar to what is often observed in the field. The sheer power of blue waters has allowed us to simulate storms where subtornadic vortices are resolved. We think that resolving these smaller, weaker vortices is essential in order to faithfully capture the processes responsible for the formation and the maintenance of the much larger, powerful EF5 strength tornado.